Batista was part of a tremendous class in WWE's developmental system that included Brock Lesnar, Randy Orton, and John Cena. Both the Animal and Cena won their first world championships at WrestleMania 21. Batista and Cena truly were on a collision course since day one. And when Batista won the 2005 Royal Rumble, it was Cena he eliminated to win the match. Man, this card is just packed with so many great matches. And this one is definitely among the most anticipated, I'd say. I wish I didn't, but I must agree about Cena and Batista. It's a tale of parallel careers, gentlemen. Brute strength versus raw power. Let's remember something, fellas. It was Batista who broke John Cena's neck. Well, Cena brutalized Batista to the extent that the animal quit WWE for four years. Anytime those two are in the ring together, they're both looking to punish each other. six-man tag team match is exactly what we expected. Takes him down with a chop block. Hooked up and, man, Triple H, what offense. Almost there. And he tags his partner in. Momentum has certainly shifted here, Michael. That's the move he was looking for. Thanks to Raw General Manager Kurt Angle in May of 2017, the WWE Universe saw a dream team come together when the Hardy Boys joined forces with the Lunatic Fringe Dean Ambrose. The exciting trio took on Sheamus, Cesaro, and The Miz. Truth be told, both Miz and Ambrose blended in with their impromptu tag team partners pretty well. Look, Triple H is on the attack now. Byron, we always make a point to talk about continuity amongst team members. In this six-man match, where Dean Ambrose teamed with the Hardys against Sheamus Cesaro and The Miz, both teams worked very well together. That surprised me, since this was the first time they teamed together. But there was something that night about the lunacy of Dean Ambrose fitting perfectly with the Daredevil Hardy Boys. I've got to say, I had goosebumps for a week after the Hardy Boys returned to WWE at 2017's WrestleMania. During that six-man on Raw, Team Extreme formed an effective trio with that lunatic Dean Ambrose. After a twist of fate from Matt Hardy, Jeff crushed The Miz with a swanton bomb, and that was all she wrote. Batista going to work now. Almost just a... Oh, and he makes the tag. That was a game changer right there, Michael. John Cena got him there. Oh, boy, he is rolling. And it's Batista with a reversal. Clearly on a mission here. Shawn Michaels is one of the biggest personalities in the business, and he's showing it. Something that is always important in a six-man match is having the ability to perform double-team moves. One of the things that successful six-man teams try and execute are double-team moves and then have the third team member perform a signature or finishing maneuver to deliver maximum impact to an opponent. Absolutely has to get back in the ring. There's no way around it. Eight. 
Oh, come on. Don't have it end like this. Here are your winners. The Animal Batista, Eddie Guerrero, and the Superstar. Looking dominant at times in the victory. Hey, a win's a win, but I'm not sure if there are many people on the roster that would want to get the win like this. And folks, if you're just joining us, I'm sorry to tell you that you just...